President Donald Trump is still trying to find a way to stay in power. Uh, and over the weekend, he and his allies apparently discussed a military option. Oh, great. Now, according to reports, Trump discussed invoking martial law in order to uh, overturn his losing the election. Uh, a strategy, of course, that was floated by disgraced General Michael Flynn. Uh, and he had talked about this on Newsmax. Now, that was just one of the ideas, the insane ideas, uh, floated during Friday's meeting, which became, according to reports, raucous and involved people shouting at each other at times, uh, according to the Times. So, great. Uh, now, things also discussed were the uh, naming of Sidney Powell as a special counsel to investigate voter fraud. So they are literally having discussion of putting, what was it, the, the Kraken lady? Over a, as a special, as a special counsel. Voter fraud. Voter fraud. Wow. Uh, like, here's the thing. They're not going to find anything. William Barr found nothing. And trust me, he was one of those people that incredibly, was incredibly loyal to Donald Trump. Uh, and it was in his best interest to find voter fraud and yet found nothing. Same thing about the Voter Fraud Commission, which also, again, found nothing. No evidence of voter fraud in any of our recent elections, uh, 2016 included. Uh, so if you have her investigate, you're going to have one of two things happen. One, she's going to find no evidence and be forced to admit that there's no evidence, that voter fraud didn't happen, that they couldn't find any evidence of voter fraud. Now, the second and, and probably the more uh, obvious thing that's going to happen, if this were to happen, she would make things up because she's Sidney Powell. Uh, make up the most insane conspiracy theories with no evidence to back it up, and of course completely embarrassed the White House and everyone working in it. And that, of course, is the end result. Uh, and, and so the thing is, the grift ain't going to work if you have an investigation, if you get your investigation. Remember, the entire narrative depends on not doing an investigation, because then they can say, oh, deep state, corrupt, uh, the mainstream media, Bill Gates, the Bilderbergs, they're stopping the investigation from really happening, so we can never really find out. Uh, how extensive this voter fraud is, but trust us, it's out there. The voter fraud is out there, uh, and you know it's it's there, it's there. And Donald Trump really won the election, even though Joe Biden is technically president. And we can hold this over him for the next four years. That's what it is. And by the way, give us money so that we can quote unquote launch our own investigations. If Sidney Powell actually got that power, he would inadvertently. And I say inadvertently because I don't think she's smart enough to know that she's grifting. Uh, you know, and she would inadvertently expose the said grift. Which is why everybody who is aware of the grift opposed the special counsel's idea, including chief grifter Rudy Giuliani. I mean, White House counsel Pat uh, Cipriani and chief of staff Mark Meadows repeatedly and aggressively push back on the ideas being proposed, according to the Times, which went beyond the special counsel idea, and Scipione told Trump that there was no constitutional authority for what was being discussed. At one point in the meeting, also, Donald Trump asked about Sidney Powell receiving security clearances in order to conduct her work. Security clearances. Uh, imagine giving that conspiracy theorist an overall nutbag a, a security clearance. Hilarious. And, 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 and the thing about Donald Trump arguing for this, because that's what he is, is that he drank his own Kool-Aid. He got high up his own supply. Never drink the Kool-Aid. Again, I, I've told you, Donald Trump, oh, the election was stolen from me. He's, he's, he's inhaling that copium, right? Oh, I can go and still win, though, if I can prove this election fraud exists. Give me Sidney Powell. Never, never, never drink your own uh, Kool-Aid. Don't do it. Don't do it. Another reported idea way during Friday's meeting was an executive order to seize voting machines, to which, of course, William Barr comes out and says there is no way that is going to happen. Giuliani also separately asked the Department of Homeland Security to uh, seize voting machines. 
but apparently it was to no avail. Uh, according to the Times, it was told the department does not have such authority to steal voting machines, to just go and seize private property from these companies. So, no, but uh, understand, okay, Donald Trump is stretching this out as far as he can go. And he has lost every single appeal. Again, I think they're doing something again to stop certification in Pennsylvania. It's already been certified. I, the Supreme Court refused to hear the case, and there's nonetheless still going after it. They're like one, one in 56. That's a terrible record. That's a bad record. Like, you suck at this. You're terrible at this. What are you doing? And again, I, I, I understand, like, the whole thing. And, and you know, this is, this is part of my problem, too, is that I want to laugh at the silly clown. Because he is. He is a clown, okay? But again, this is serious because he is also trying to go authoritarian. He is talking about doing martial law and military options to overthrow a lawful election. And you've got millions of people that are like, yeah, 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 let's do that. Yeah, completely up on the Constitution. Yeah, in order to protect the Constitution, we're going to shred the Constitution. Yeah, Trump, Trump 2020. That's what's going on here, okay? He's very desperate. And when people are desperate, they are afraid. And again, people inside the administration, those who are around him all the time, they are also afraid. Uh, in fact, a senior administration official talked to Axios, uh, and here's what they said. People who are concerned and nervous aren't the weak need bureaucrats that we loathe. So you know it's a Trump guy. Like, oh, yeah, we loathe the bureaucrats, weak knees. Also, we're scared of the authoritarian clown. Uh, so you might want <clears throat> to do something about that. Uh, they continue by saying, these are people who have endured arguably more insanity and mayhem than any administration officials in history. Doesn't that make you feel all warm and fuzzy? Knowing that that's uh, what's happening in the holes of power in the most powerful and well-armed country on earth. Very nice. Very nice. Um, but you also have journalists who are also used to the insanity around Donald Trump because they cover him day in, day out. Uh, and here's what they say. Sources who have gotten used to Trump's eruptions over the four years sound scared by what has transpired in the past week. When I've talked to them, the Times' Maggie Haberman tweeted, Jonathan Swan of Axios also observed a similar change among White House aides, noting that he has been, quote, covering Donald Trump for a while and can't recall hearing more intense concern from senior officials who are actually, quote, unquote, Trump people. 25th Amendment. I know, I know, it's, it's not... We got like a month, all right? Donald Trump is less than a month in office. And yet we are still having to have the discussion of, is it time for the 25th Amendment yet? I mean, it's, I think it's past time for the 25th Amendment. Like it's over, okay? It should have been, should have happened the day after the election. Why the day after the election? Because, well, you didn't want to write, run against Mike oh, Pence, I'm did you? Um, now that, you know, that's gone. 25th Amendment already. Because he's still in power until the 20th and he has gotten progressively more insane and i'm again very concerned about what's happening if he's actually openly talking about sending in the troops no very concerning and the reason is of course this is a desperate man okay he is at the end of his rope the creditors are calling all right there there, there are people out there he was about a half a billion dollars to creditors right uh and not only that, but there are investigations in the Southern District of New York that I'm pretty sure he is really not interested in, uh, in dealing with, okay? And whether or not Biden's administration would actually attempt to prosecute him, and laugh along with me, I don't think they will. I think they're going to do the whole we look forward and not backwards thing that Obama had done with Bush, okay? But nonetheless, he is a paranoid person, Trump is. Uh, and so he's still, no matter what, he is still worried because he buys all the stuff that conservative media tells him. I have told you from day one, he is the Fox News president. It, it, and, and now it, it went from Fox News to Newsmax and OAN, who all say even more insane things than Fox News could ever dream of saying. And he's listening to them, and he believes the things that they're telling him. 
So that is super concerning. Big, big problem. Big problem. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.